Hey everybody, we are back. Um, we're gonna do some. Uh, Submissions with Paladin Dance here. Um, having Paladin Dance is kind of a risky move. He is kind of, um, for a lack of a better way of saying it, him and the whole Brotherhood of Steel are kind of bigots. But well, they sir. are a... Are we in luck? Sir, mission accomplished. We have the transmitter. Finally, some uh, good we'll news for a change. Minute. Nice work, sir. I didn't do it alone. Aelin, Reese, it's time to welcome our newest recruit to the Brotherhood. He shows a lot of promise. And with the proper guidance, I think he has the potential of becoming one of the best. Thanks. I promise not to let you down. You don't have to prove anything else to me. Getting that transmitter was enough. So you decided to stay, huh? I expected you to take your payment and run. I got tired of wandering alone. Too bad. I was getting used to the thought of you leaving. Reese, that's enough. Like it or not, you're going to have to learn to work together. And you, you need to understand what it means to be a part of the Brotherhood. We're not soldiers of fortune. We're an army. And we've dedicated our lives to uphold a strict code of ethics. If you intend to stay within our ranks, you need to obey our tenets without question. Don't worry. I've spent time in the military. Perfect. Then there's no need to give you a long lecture. So I'll get right to the point. I only ask for two things from anyone under my command. Honesty and respect. You fall in line, you stay in line. I give you an order, and you follow it. It's as simple as that. There's one last order of business I wanted to get out of the way. I'm going to recommend you to be awarded the rank of knight. Now, nothing's official until you speak to Elder Maxon, but I wanted you to be the first to know. Thank you. Thanks aren't necessary. Just continue excelling at your duties, soldier. Ad victorium, knight. He doesn't even know what that means, Halen. Ad victorium means to victory. In our eyes, Defeat is unacceptable, because we're fighting for the future of mankind. Our rallying cry is more powerful than any weapon you could ever <coughs> carry. Remember that. Now, I've received orders that we're both to report to the Pridwin. However, if you want to run a few ops for Scribe Halen or Knight Reese first, they could certainly use your assistance. I'll leave the choice up to you. Let me know when you're ready to mount up. place in about Paladin. by the end of the, are you uh, ready to the, head up to the ship by the end of this uh of course stream. i am i've never seen anything so impressive takes your breath away doesn't it we call our ship the pridwin she's loaded with enough troops and supplies to mount a major offensive if she's here elder maxon's here and that means we're going to I'm guessing that diplomacy isn't on Elder Maxon's mind. What's the matter? Don't like kicking in the door? Don't worry. You'll fall in line with our tactics sooner or later. That being said, you're about to get to know the Pridwin up close and personal. I've received orders that we're both to report to her immediately. Follow me up to the roof of the police station. We're going for a little ride.
the secret office up on the roof. Answer Captain Kells on the flight deck. Just stick close to me and answer all of his questions. Permission to come aboard, sir? Permission granted. Welcome back, Mallory. Allow me to be the first to congratulate you on a successful mission. And is this our new recruit? Yes, sir. I feel promoted him to initiate, and I'd like to sponsor his entry into our rankings personally. Yes, we've read your reports. You'll be pleased to know that Elder Maxim's approved your request and placed the recruit in your charge. Thank you, sir. And my current orders? You are to remain on the Pridman and await further instructions. Very good, sir. Ad Victorium, Captain. Ad Victorium, Paladin. Captain Kells? So, you're the one Paladin Dance has taken under his wing. <laughs> you don't look much like a soldier to me.
Looks can be deceiving. Which is precisely why I personally insist on scrutinizing every recruit who boards this vessel. I've read Paladin Dance's reports. He seems to think you'll make a fine addition to the Brotherhood. You might expect an endorsement like that to grant you a great deal of latitude with us. But let me make one thing clear. The Brotherhood of Steel has traveled to the Commonwealth with a specific goal in mind. As the captain of this vessel, I won't allow anyone to jeopardize our mission, no matter how valuable they think they are. Understood? Absolutely. Good. That's all for now, soldier. Your orders are to proceed to the command deck for the address. After which, Elder Maxon wishes to have a word with you. If you have any questions, ask me now. Otherwise, you're dismissed. Can you tell me anything about Elder Maxon? Elder Maxon is the Supreme Commander of the Brotherhood. Without his tenacity and his vision, we'd still be a small group of complacent stragglers occupying the Citadel and the Capital Wasteland. In a mere decade, he's grown the Brotherhood of Steel into a major military force. He's an inspiration to us all. Is there anything else? What are my orders? Your orders are to proceed to Elder Ma Anything else? I don't have any questions. Then I suggest you head over to the command deck immediately. Dismissed, Initiate. Welcome aboard. Elder Maxon is holding his address inside the command deck. Brothers and sisters, the road behind has been long and fraught with difficulty. Each and every one of you has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the Commonwealth. You have accomplished this amazing feat without a hint of purpose or direction. And most impressively, without question. Now that the ship is in position, it is time to reveal our purpose and our mission. Beneath the Commonwealth, there is a cancer known as the Institute, a malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. They are experimenting with dangerous technologies that could prove to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent history. The Institute scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb. They call their creation the Synth, a robotic abomination of technology that is free thinking and masquerades as a human being. This notion that a machine could be granted free will is not only offensive, but horribly dangerous. And like the atom, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I am not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. Therefore, the Institute and their sins are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel and should be dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. This campaign will be costly, and many lives will be lost. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy, itself. Ad Victorium! Ad Victorium! Ad Victorium! No matter how many battles we win, there's always another fight ahead of us. I care about them, you know. The people of the Commonwealth. Care about them? I thought we were preparing for war. The Brotherhood is here to prevent a war by starting one of our own. The difference is, our war won't reduce civilization to ashes. Don't worry. I'm convinced. Paladin Dance's reports were quite clear regarding your feelings toward the Brotherhood. And he concludes that you'd be an asset to us. Seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers, you couldn't get a better recommendation. Therefore, from this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight. And, befitting your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you on the field of battle. Wear it with pride. I'll do my best to live up to it. I'm certain that you will. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Make us proud.
status. Congratulations. Bring your promotion. Across the board, sir. Nothing new. Good. Very on. Can't talk right now. Gotta clean the Meyer alert scab off my boots. I'll administer your exam after you've checked in with Vance and Elder Maxim. So how did it look out there? We've got Excuse a lot me, of Paladin Vance? There you are. How did it go with Elder Maxim? I was very impressed with him. He seems to know what... Exactly. Without his determination, we'd be lost. I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. Not to put too fine a point on it, but if you screw up, we go down together. I won't let you down, Dance. I promise. Good. Now, I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the Institute. But first things first. In order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. Since I've been officially assigned to you as your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along with you. Sounds good. Let's go. Outstanding. Captain Kate. Glad you finally stopped by, soldier. Are you ready for your medical exam? Sure. Go right ahead. All right. I'm going to ask you a series of medical-related questions, and I'd like you to answer me to the best of your ability. First question. As a child, were you ever exposed to radiation for an extended period of time? There wasn't that much radiation around before the bombs fell. Before the bombs? What? Let, let me check my notes. You were a vault dweller? You're probably healthier than anyone else aboard. Anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just going down the list of questions. I'm sure you understand. Okay, second question. Have you ever had, or, come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease? Never been seriously sick in my life. Good, good. Third question. And please, answer honestly. Have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered non-human? That happens often enough for you to have a question about it? You'd be surprised how many Wastelanders answer yes to that question. Fortunately, the Brotherhood finds that type of behavior absolutely distasteful. Since you haven't spent too much time in the Wasteland, I'll assume your answer is no. Last question. Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? If my life's in danger? do whatever it takes to defend myself. That's an acceptable answer, and the most common. Excellent. I think I've got all the information I need. I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. I really should have my armor adjusted while I'm here. Ah, good. We're finally here. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll get to them as soon as I can. I think you're confusing me with someone else. Hmm. Perhaps I need to rummage through the supply bins for a new pair of glasses. Since it's obvious that you aren't who I was expecting, would you mind telling me why you're here? Maxon wanted me to meet the crew, so you were next on my list. Ah, yes. You must be the new recruit described in Paladin Dance's report. Under normal circumstances, I provide you with a proper orientation of my department. However, I'm woefully behind setting up research patrols and getting bombarded with requests for technical documentation. Unfortunately, I'm lacking the personnel needed to get the job done. What type of technical documentation are you looking for? The Brotherhood is primarily interested in collecting information that might assist us with our current mission. Medical records, science journals, weapon schematics. If it contains any type of useful data, we need to get our hands on it. Maybe I can lend you a hand. That would be splendid. As you patrol the Commonwealth, keep your eyes open for blueprints, memos, manuals, books, charts. Anything containing useful technical data. I'm authorized to pay you for each bundle of documents that you recover. 
And if you wish to be assigned to a research patrol, I have plenty of them waiting to be filmed. In any event, it was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. Expecting. There it is. Sounds like you're disappointed. I'm not disappointed, just surprised. You don't look like one of the usual wastelanders we pick up. Anyway, since you came down here to meet me, we may as well get it over with. My name's Ingram, and this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. If your power armor's too tight in the crotch, the Pridwin's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone haywire, you come see me. Sounds like you have a pretty full plate. Plate? Hell, I have a whole table's worth of duties around here. There isn't a day that goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. Actually, you seem to be getting around really well. I suppose it's better than the alternative. Anyway, I'm sure you're here to get your hands on some power armor. There's a pretty decent T-60 suit sitting in Bay 3 that's all yours. The left leg actuator's a bit sticky, but it'll keep the creeps off of you. Oh, and if you need any work done on it, feel free to use the workshops around here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. You're looking for ammunition, weapon mods, Dr. Deegan, I know. You think the common one looks bad? Proctor Teagan, who should see the cat. Step forward, Please. Knight. Even though they've locked me in this blasted cage, I promise that I won't bite. Looks uncomfortable in there. It's not that bad. Now, this is the stowage depot. And I, as you probably already guessed, am the ship's quartermaster, Proctor Teagan. The powers that be have me locked in here so I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. If you need to stock up on supplies before you head out on a mission, this is the place to buy them. That's good to know. I'm glad you're the agreeable type. When I tell most of the new recruits that they have to buy their own equipment, they give me the stink eye. The good news is by having a constant flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you bring me. Yeah, I'm mostly interested in weapons but I'll take anything useful. Of course, if you're just looking to make a few caps on the side, I might have some extra work for you to do. I could use some extra caps. You need them, and I want you to spend them here. It's a match made in heaven. It just involves a little bit of heavy lifting and... interacting with the local farms. And since I'm stuck up here manning this one-man zoo, I need someone to do the legwork for me. After you're done with the meet and greet, we can discuss the details. In the meantime, if you ever need anything else, a gun, a mod, even ammo, you just let me know. Proctor Teagan. If you're looking to pick a fight, I'll help you end it. Set me up. Sure, I've got something that'll put a smile on your face. Now we're talking. Gatlin laser. Nice. Don't need it, but nice.
strong mission. Now that you've familiarized yourself with the Pridman's crew, are you ready for your next assignment, brother? Yes, Elder. Good. Let's get right to it, then. Shall we? Take a look over there. That's Fort Strong. And it's infested with super mutants. Having those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse, they're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat man shells we could use in our campaign. I want you to head over there, wipe out everything that moves, and secure that stockpile. Understood? Consider it done. Look. I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute, but it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. It'll be a pleasure to exterminate that mutant film. Now, we have a vertebrate on standby, fully armed and ready to depart. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong and wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the Earth. Done. Dismissed. That's what I'm talking about. Let's do it. Let's go dance. Easiest way to get there. This way, let's go dance. The heck?
Oh, it's that one. I dance. This area seems to be in disarray.
clear house. Submarines aren't really that big a deal. What? Who's there? Outstanding. Where'd they go? came down that the army just unloaded the first batch of the uh, M42s this morning. I've only seen the specs for these little beauties on paper. Private Bertram and I snuck down to take an early look. When I heard that the eggheads were designing a manned portable nuke launcher, I thought they were nuts. But they actually got the damn thing to work. And after seeing the real thing sitting right in front of me, I think they could be just enough to tip the balance of this war in our favor. I mean, can you imagine the look on the enemy's face when we get dropped into Anchorage carrying these babies? They won't know what hit them. This area is up. Obviously been abandoned for quite some time. something useful here. There's some useful things in here. Take a look. Hey. Need something?
right, I still have that gigantic thing. Forgot about that. You know what, I'm gonna give him the junk jet. This equipment's here for a reason. Let's find out why. <laughs> what the?
hear that. Intruder alert! and dance. Look at this place. You must hate these mutants as much as I do. Absolutely. Wiping them out was a pleasure. I wish all of mankind shared your sentiment. These monstrosities are just another example of man blindly taking a step forward only to wind up stumbling two steps back. I've been fighting for years, trying to put a stop to this madness. And just when I thought we were getting the upper hand, Long come the synths. I've seen what these super mutants do to people. Can you imagine what the synths would do to us if they ever got the upper hand? It would be Armageddon repeated, and maybe the end of everything that we hold dear. <sighs> Look, I don't mean to bore you with my rhetoric. I just want you to understand how important these missions are. Don't apologize. It reminds me why I'm doing this. Thank you, brother. It's good to know you're taking my advice to heart. Anyway, that's enough of that. What's important here is that you got the job done and secured these warheads. You should head back up to the Pridwin and talk to Maxon. I'm sure he'll want to debrief you as soon as possible. Dismissed.
Elder. Outstanding work at Fort Strong, soldier. It was an honor fighting for the Brotherhood. I'm glad you feel that way. Because our mission here has only just begun. In order to bring the Institute to its knees, we need to use every weapon at our disposal. I try to supply my soldiers with the best. That's why I'm giving you these. Signal grenades can call a vertebrate to your location when you need aerial transport. Simply throw one to the ground, and the vertebrate will hone in on the unique electromagnetic smoke it emits. Once you're aboard, use the map on your pit boy to interface with the pilot's navigation system, so he'll be able to take you wherever you need. Where can I get more signal grenades? I'd use the supply I gave you sparingly. These devices are far more complex than a standard smoke grenade. Should you need more, you should acquire them from Proctor Teagan. Thank you, Elder. I'll make good use of them. I expect that you will. Now, I'm sure you're aware that Fort Strong was simply the first step towards the liberation of the Commonwealth. An even greater task lies ahead. By now, I'm sure you've deduced that our arrival in the Commonwealth wasn't coincidental. We're here because of a unique energy reading recorded by Paladin Dance's recon team. According to our scribes, the reading indicated a level of technology that only the Institute could achieve. The moment this information came to light, our mission became clear. The Institute, and everyone responsible for the creation of the synths, must be eliminated at all costs. To accomplish this goal, we need to locate the Institute's headquarters. I've had our scribes meticulously searching the Commonwealth, but they've come up empty-handed. Anything you need, Elder. You just say the word. I want you to get out there, and become our eyes and ears on the ground. You seem to have a vested interest in locating the Institute before we met, so I'm confident you'll travel in the right circles. If you discover a way in, I need you to report it to me immediately. Any questions, Knight? Aren't there any pre-war records about the Institute that might help us? Our records indicate that the Institute was born from the remnants of a pre-war educational facility. The Commonwealth Institute of Technology. The ruins of the facility are at the center of the city, but we've already searched them thoroughly. The location appears to have been abandoned long ago, so it appears that the trail ends there. Anything else, Knight? Any suggestions where I should look next? Your meeting with Dr. Amari seemed fairly telling. If the Institute has the capability to teleport its synths, then we're in for quite a fight. There must be a way to tap into the teleport signal, and your mysterious lead in the glowing sea could provide us with the answer. If you need any assistance mitigating the radiation in that godforsaken location, speak to Proctor Teagan. I'm certain he'd be willing to help. Could those mysterious energy readings Paladin Dance's recon team detected be related to teleportation? The level of technology that the Institute possesses is far beyond our own, so we're not certain. However, that would explain why the readings are so random and short-lived. I'll have our scribes focus on improving our scanning techniques to learn more. Anything else you wanted to ask, Knight? Not right now, Elder. Very well, then. Dismissed. It sounds like we owe you our gratitude for wiping out those monsters at Fort Strong. Now, did you have any documents for me? Or perhaps you were interested in aiding a research patrol? I found some technical documents for you. And they're in wonderful condition as well. Excellent work. Here are the caps that I promised. Nice. Remember, the Commonwealth is an almost unlimited... Check every building you ex... Welcome back. I heard about the operation at Fort Strong. Any injuries that require attending to? Yeah. See what's wrong with me, Doctor. All right, soldier. You'll be fine. Just tell me what the trouble is. I think I soaked up some rads out there. We'll clean you up. Don't worry. Done. Now. Was there anything else bothering you? Just hurt all over. Uh, I've seen worse. Better stitch you up before infection sets in, though. Oh, 
All done. Any other complaints? No other complaints. Sounds good. Be careful, Knight. We'd hate to lose you. How can a machine believe it's alive? It's ridiculous. Night. Well, the Brotherhood's got a lifetime supply of nuclear ordnance thanks to you. I expect you could use a resupply after a scrap like that. Set me up. Sure, I've got some. Welcome aboard, brother. <clears throat> All right, out with it. What's your game? I hope I haven't offended you again. Offended? Hardly. I'm just trying to figure you out. You're not the military type. You're a loner. So I can't figure out why you're sticking around. You got what you wanted, so why don't you hit the road? The Brotherhood might be the best chance I'll ever have to find my son. Well... As far as reasons go, that's a pretty good one. Look, I'm gonna cut you some slack because Dance trusts you. But if you step out of line and put any of my brothers or sisters in danger, I'll make sure you regret it. So, ready for your assignment, hero? Ready. Then listen up. Like it or not, one of our most important duties is to keep the Commonwealth clear of the trash. I'm talking about mutants, ghouls, synths. The abominations the damn eggheads caused when they started playing with their toys. This op is simple. I'm gonna send you to a target, and you're gonna terminate everything that calls it home. All the details you need are right here. Don't come back until the job's done. Hail Knight. Scribe Halen. Re still giving you the cold shoulder. I wish we can see eye to eye. Reese only sees one thing. Reese. 
Reese bleeds brotherhood. It's all he cares about. It's his family. It's his whole life. If anything else comes into the picture and gets in the way, he shoves it aside. Is there something between the two of you? When I first joined up, Reese is the one who sponsored me. He took me under his wing, showed me the ropes. I thought there was a little more between us, so I asked him if he cared about me that way. He told me the Brotherhood of Steel was all that he cared about. And there was no room for anything else in his life. That's cold. We never spoke about it again. Look, I... I need to get back to things. If you're worried about Reese, just keep doing what you're doing. He'll come around soon enough. So, are you ready to take on your first assignment? Ready. Great. Let me explain what I need you to do. One of the Brotherhood's most important duties is the recovery and preservation of technology that was lost when the bombs fell. I have a list of locations that contain artifacts we need you to recover in order to have them cataloged and studied by our scribes. Here, this should cover all the information you'll need to find your first artifact. Good luck, and be careful. Got it. Hesitating to pull the trigger on any of the Commonwealth scum can be fatal. Yeah, yeah, got it. Uh, let's go to here and make sure that we are as light as we can be. Because it's important. Maybe eventually, but not right now. It's going to be a different area. Same thing with... Eagles go Terry. Oh, that's Bar Harbor territory. We haven't gotten up there yet. Um, so that'll be... I guess it'll be a while before I can help him. 
Um, we can do arc jet systems. Folks, if you give me just one second, I will be right back. And we're back. Sorry about that, folks. We may have to go back to Reese and cancel that one and get a new one.
Bingo. Interesting. That's just a super gas. Got it. Disappearing act. Huh? You turn up, you're dead. There we go.
next to the lonely church. I over encumbered? Uh, I think so. Oh, I'm in sneak. That's what's going on. Scribe Halen. Good. You're back. Hope that means you're with the tech. Here it is. Good. I was hoping you'd bring it back safely. Take this. The Commonwealth won't be running out of tech anytime soon. Report back to me when you're ready to head out again. Affirmative. Good. I mark the location on your map. Stay alert. Carry food with you. I'm not leaving some pretty questionable things to stay alive. I already starting to look better in here. I heard that Elder Maxim got that scar on his face from going one-on-one -on -one with a death claw. Don't you have some trash to hunt down? if I know what top sees in you. You got your orders. Move like you got a purpose. <sighs> All right, time to do the dangerous stuff. See, progress this just a little bit more.
think I got any new bobbleheads, so. So, you ready to get me? Not right now. Thanks, buddy. Fusion cores. So, you ready to get this show on the road? Either strong, but sometimes we don't get the, uh, the opportunity.
feel like I should save it.
like listening to his to the xenomorphs. Or like uh Velociraptor raptor coming to get you. I guess. One second, folks.
great divide comes. May the divide bring you peace. Excuse me. In the end, we are all Adam's children. shown Adam's glory. Adam will lead us all to glorious division. The great divide come. Stop right there, stranger. You approach Adam's holy ground. Why? State your purpose or be divided in his sight. I'm here because I need your help. Do you seek division? Have you come to merge with Adam, to be split in his infinite glory? Or do you seek to tear down his followers? I'm looking for someone named Virgil. Virgil? Yes, we know this Virgil. Do you have a moment? What do you need of me, child? I'm looking for someone named Virgil. Have you seen him? Yes, I know of him. What do you want with him? I just need some information from him. I see. In truth, this Virgil has caused some concern. Some believe his presence is an affront to Atom. Though he came to trade with us on a few occasions, we have had little other contact with him. It was quite clear he wanted to be left alone. You can find him southwest of the crater, living in a cave. I would approach cautiously were I you. I feel he does not want visitors. Do you have a moment? What do you need of me, child? There wouldn't be a place I could resupply around here, would there? Seek Brother Ogden. He should have some provisions on offer. For a price. How have you survived in all this radiation? That is Adam's unique gift to us, the true believers. He has brought us here to this place. A place that cannot harm us, so that we may worship him so that we may spread his word to others. That is our calling, to deliver Adam's message to a world that does not wish to hear it, to show Adam's power to all.
kind of close to quitting time. As you can see, there was a death cloud just waiting there for me. I'm not loving that. I want to see you, buddy. Looks like he's sleeping. Let's, uh, let's let him do that. the Institute used him to do their dirty work for so many years. I knew they'd send him after me. Tried to prepare for it. But I still wasn't sure I'd make it. And so you... You killed him, eh? Then what do you want with me? Why did you leave the Institute? I know you came from there. You know about the escape? But how? No. It doesn't matter. I'm not going back. I can't go back. Look at me. Why are you even here? What do you want? Relax. I just need to know how to get in there. Wait, what? Are you serious? You want to get into the Institute? Are you insane? Never mind how nearly impossible that is. Even if you were to succeed, it'd almost certainly end in your immediate death. What reason could you possibly have for taking that kind of risk? I'm trying to find my son. The Institute kidnapped him. Oh. Oh no. I had no idea. I'm sorry. Yeah. The Institute has taken people from the Commonwealth in the past. If your son is one of them, I can understand why you'd want to get in there. I can help, but I'm going to need something in return. You help me and I'll help you. All right. If I help you, you're going to do something for me. Before I was forced to leave, I was working on a serum to reverse this mutation. It could return me to normal. You understand? So if you get in there, I need you to find it in my old office and bring it to me. I think that's pretty reasonable in exchange for helping you. All right, let's talk details. First things first, you know how synths get in and out of the Institute? Yeah, they use some sort of teleporter. Well, well, not many know about it. Pretty closely guarded secret. You've certainly done your homework. It's commonly referred to as 
the molecular relay. I don't understand all the science behind it, but it works. Dematerializes you in one place, rematerializes you in another. I'm sure it sounds crazy, but it's a reality. The relay is the only way in and out of the Institute. You understand? The only one. That means you're going to have to use it. Now, have you ever seen an Institute courser? No, never heard of it. Another secret of the Institute. Trust me, it's good that you haven't found out the hard way. Coursers are Institute synths, designed for one purpose. They're hunters. Operations go wrong, a synth goes missing, and a courser is dispatched. They're very good at what they do, and you're going to have to kill one. Let's go. Just point me in the right direction. Well, I suppose your enthusiasm counts for something. Every courser has special hardware that gives them a direct connection to the relay in the Institute. It's embedded in a chip in their heads. You need that chip. But to get it, you'll have to find a courser. Now I don't know exactly where you can find one. They haven't sent any after me. And sitting here waiting doesn't seem like a good plan. You're going to have to hunt one down. I can tell you where to start and give you some help finding one. But you'll have to do the dirty work. Okay, let's get to work. Right. The primary insertion point for coursers is in the ruins of CIT, directly above the Institute. So you'll want to head there. Now, the relay causes some pretty heavy interference all across the EM spectrum. You've got a radio on that pip boy, right? When you get to the ruins, tune it to the lower end of the band and listen in. You'll be able to hear the interference. Follow the signal, and it'll lead you to a courser. Then, you just have to... not get killed. Not gonna lie. The odds aren't in your favor here. But if you do make it, remember what I said about the serum. I need it badly. I... I really do hope you find what you're looking for. Excuse me. You find a courser, don't underestimate it. The chip's no good if you're dead. I am like 95% sure we are not going to be able to just fast travel out of here. Oh, apparently we are. Okay. That's the Courser chip, huh? Don't look like a chip, looks like a tube fuse. You would buy me some jet, then. Humans are What do you know if Trevor or anything you might miss? At least it's not raining.
Okay, well, with that being said, I think we made some pretty good progress today. Um, I'm going to call it a day. i got to go put some cumin into the uh, chili. Um, and we should be back after dinner, I think. Sounds like a pretty good idea to me. I think we've got uh, Kingdom Hearts coming up. And then after that, I want to say it's... Oh gosh, um, no, we just did Octopath Traveler, Kingdom Hearts, gosh, I can't even remember what's in my rotation right now, that's how bad it is, um, I know we got Kingdom Hearts coming up, and I know we've got a few other ones, but we'll see, Baldur's Gate 3, it's probably Baldur's Gate 3, and then Phoenix Rising, someday, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff. Anyway, uh, have a good night, and we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. So much walking. Want to do more fighting?